defeat in a cup that we normally do pretty well in and it's tough to go out and pen on penalties. Yeah, really tough evening. Really, really tough evening. Well done to, to Woodford Town. I thought they were excellent. They won a step five side in my opinion. I can see why they've only conceded one goal all season. It was a really hard game for us um, and I'm really pleased with us actually. It's been a tough couple of weeks but look, every, everyone is, is all doom and gloom. We've got more points than last year. I, I don't understand it. You know, It's all like... Um, I think we just have to be a little bit more humble and remember where we've come from and what we are. We're a work in progress every single season. We have to turn people up, in, bring people in, lose people, lose good players and, and go again. We haven't got the luxuries of big money. You know, and I keep saying it and you either get behind the boys or don't come. Like, it's as simple as that for me because I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with what I've read and that on, on social media with a group. We've never had that since I've been at this football club. I, Gary never had it. Jimmy Gray never had it. Let's not have it now. We're a really good football club and we're always encouraging and we've got some great young players in there, really, really good boys who are learning their trade and sometimes it's not going to be good, sometimes it's going to be exceptional, but we got more points than last year, we've gone out in penalties, we created a number of chances in the last 15, 20 minutes which I'm really pleased about, we earned the right in the game which was really hard, I played Bayern, I played... Um, uh, Billy Basari, I played um, a couple of other boys there who were coming in for for um, minutes that haven't had many minutes. Nico Muir's been missing for two weeks. It's been a really hard game and, and I was really, really pleased with how we finished the game. I thought Ronnie McFlynn to come on was great. Samuel Adenola was exceptional. Look, we picked up another injury to Ethan Light, which is... You go back to Saturday, we've got five crucial players out on the side, crucial players that walk in most teams at this level. So that's where we are. And there's going to be highs and lows this season, I've always said it, but I'm so pleased of where we are as a club on and off the pitch. I'm so pleased at the points we've got this season, but everyone's got to get behind us and stop the doom and gloom. There's no doom and gloom around it, you know. Let's be positive, let's be positive for the boys, because they're good boys, really good boys that are trying their absolute hardest, and that's all you can ever ask for. So, it was a really hard game. I thought we earned the right with 20, 30 minutes to go, which you have to do in these games. I thought defensively they were as good as any step three side I've seen this year defensively. Um, and we created some really good chances, but you've got to hit the target. And Luke had to pull out one wonderful save or two maybe. Um, but we kept a clean sheet and we got on penalties. That's football. That's that's what it's all about. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very pleased with with the minutes in the bank. I'm mean, pleased with the performance. I'm not pleased with Ethan Wright, but in getting injured. But that's where we are. How serious is Ethan's knock? It's a knock on the knee, so you know it's not a bad one, but it could be one that keeps him out for sort of seven days. That's going to be the issue, how it um, goes tomorrow and Friday. And it's going to be a massive loss, but hopefully David De Hager will be back in. Um, but you know we've got no Dave tonight, no Joe tonight, no LP tonight, still three massive players for the club. Um, but as I say, I was really pleased with Billy Passari. I thought he was excellent in the second half. Hamza was good. So there's lots of lots of positives. What are you expecting from Craig Valley Wanderers on, or Craig, uh, Craig Paper Mills, isn't it? Yeah, and listen, I've got a lot, a lot of time for Steve, first and foremost. I remember when we hadn't won for six games at the start of the season two years ago, and he was one of the first people on the phone to me, and that was that meant a lot. He's just a good guy. What we're going to get on Saturday is a seriously, seriously hard work inside with lots of quality, and we have to try and match that. We have to try and outfight them. We have to try and outwork them. And then we've got to try and have our quality showing at the other end. And if we do that, it's going to be a really, really good game. But we need a fully fit squad. And at the moment, we haven't quite got that. So we need to make sure that the players coming in know what's expected. We need to make sure that they're ready for the fight. And as I say, look, yeah, Herm Bay was disappointing Saturday. Sadly, wasn't disappointing. More than it was disappointed we never created a chance, but we've given away two mistakes and a team that I felt weren't going to score against us. That's what's disappointing. But we worked extremely hard with five, six crucial players missing from the group. So it's really hard to, to criticise these group of players. They work extremely hard. And I think it's really important, my message tonight, is to really get behind these players. The crowd were brilliant again tonight, having them here. It's so good, but we need to really keep pushing and... And, and praising them because I said to you, Steve, when, before we come out, we finished fifth from bottom this year. It's an unbelievable achievement. Let me tell you now, with some of the clubs we're coming up against this year, it's an unbelievable achievement. On the outside looking in, it might not be great, but if you know what we're all about, know what we're going through, know the, the, the hard bits that we're having to do off the pitch at the moment that no one else knows about, let me tell you now, what this group of players are doing at the moment, it's exceptional. 
and that's really important that it stays like that. I've had a couple of tough weeks, it could be a couple more tough weeks, it might be a fantastic Saturday evening, we won't know. But what I do know is the group will give me everything, they'll give the football club everything, and that's all you can ask for. Goals will come back, we don't score against White Orc and Craig, Valley, and Craig Wanderers and teams like that, if you don't score goals, Dulwich. We've just gone for a little dry spell, it'll come back. Nico Mule's one of them key people we're missing, and um, I'm excited for the next couple of months. Cheers.